highly aesthetic. Welcome to a radiant Scandinavian forest in May. I come bearing some wisdom for you all to partake in so that you can better handle addictions. And uh, I'm gonna start off by just talking a bit about pornography. First and foremost, if you want more scientific backing, if you are arguing with someone, if you're trying to convince a friend or a similar discussion, you can check out Your Brain on Porn. First link in uh, the description box below. Uh, then you can get some studies behind why it's bad for you. Um, it's always important to be able to back up our claims. So um, anyway, I started talking about porn about six years ago, so for many of you this is hardly anything new. But something I've learned over the last few years is that there is a danger in not understanding that we are in one place in the immaterium. For most normlings it's completely news if you say that porn is bad. It is getting to the mainstream as we speak but there are still a lot of guys who are completely unaware of it. Just as the same thing if we're talking about politics or biology or similar matters. There are a lot of normies who are completely clueless when it comes to the realities of yeah, biology or um, society etc. So keep that in mind and also if I repeat myself in some videos and you say you know what you've talked about this before I talk about it again because I want to reach more guys with um, the teachings so to speak. So basically I thought to label this video the questing knight's vow or something equally epic. Now of course a low thumus guy an ironic guy will only see it and be like, you know, this sounds silly. But that's also because we live in an age where honor isn't really as important as it used to be. So if I say that you should take a holy vow to quit a bad behavior, you know, yeah, you can take it as a joke or you can take it as seriously as you want it. And for me, I've always gone with the mindset that you know, my word is my most prized metaphysical, at least, um, possession I have. You know, if I give my word to someone else, or equally important to myself, that I need to be true to my word. So if I say, you know, this month I have set out a challenge for myself that I will not eat sugar, then I know that I can't break that promise. I can't break a promise to myself, I can't break a promise to anyone else either. Now, for every time you reinforce your word, for every time you gain a victory over yourself, it will be easier to maintain your word. So if I say to myself, yeah, I will absolutely 100% do this, I've done it many times before, then it's easier in the future and also for others as well if you are known as a good man who are always true to your word yeah then it will be easier for others to trust you so you build up a good reputation and you also build up a good reputation internally and this is not my wisdom here i'm sharing i'm sharing someone else who said the first set of abs is the hardest to get Absolutely true. Before I got my first set of visible abs, I didn't know I could do it. But every single cut after that, when I tried to get into good shape, it's been easier because I know I can do it. I know I can overcome myself. And that's also if you look on some guys who perhaps are struggling to quit porn or who are struggling to quit nicotine, maybe snooze here in Sweden, or cigarettes, etc. They either, they do it on the first attempt, or they, you know, fail and keep on failing. And for every time you fail, and this is a bit blackpilling for most people to hear, I'm sorry, but it is the truth, and I want to tell you why it gets harder. Yes, it's because you break trust with yourself. For every defeat, a defeat at your own hand, or a defeat at your addiction, the easier it will be to, you know, break that promise the next time. 
So either you go upwards in a positive spiral or you go downwards. So it is super important that the first time you give yourself a promise, the first time you say, you know, I will quit porn, for example, that must be the only time because for every time you fail, the risk, the chances for you to fail again are increased. Not the most white pilling thing to say, but it is important uh, in understanding uh, your mentality, your subconscious or even conscious um, thought when it comes to breaking addictions. So if you have tried to beat nicotine addiction or porn addiction for the 10th time, yeah, it will be harder than it was your second time because you have so many defeats weighing you down. Uh, just reinforcing that behavior that you will fail, you will crack and as any athlete will tell you, you know, the half of the thing that is being done is in your mind. Can you do it? Can you not do it? The guys who believe in themselves, they can always do it. They can always perform more. Um, I've always gone with the mindset that, you know, I am a, I'm a questing knight out for glory and enlightenment and I take a vow to myself that I will go in 100% if someone else says you know why is this important I say it's important for me because I have taken this upon myself now of course since we live in a somewhat honorless society it is easy to just point to material reasons you know I have this urge now I am hungry now so therefore I have to eat I need to follow my inner nature at all costs all the time but if you adhere to a more ancient shall we say or a bit more chivalry oriented mentality yeah then you will be able to put other things first such as your word your honor and um, you know, for a guy, a modern man who, you know, laughs when I talk about chivalry and being a questing knight, he laughs and say, you know, this sounds very silly. Uh, for him, of course, if he doesn't believe in the concept of honor, the concept of higher virtue, yes, of course, he will continue to watch porn. Of course, he will continue to eat a lot of bad food. Um, because why not? When you just look at it in a world bereft of honor why would you uphold why would you uphold your own honor so you see you need to first and foremost adapt a questing knight mindset then you can start you know getting rid of bad addictions or you can just rely on sheer willpower that works too but it is here if you have but it's easier if you have some sort of positive vision for um how you view yourself basically so, in conclusion, view yourself as something more epic, something more heroic. Don't just view yourself as a pathetic porn addict or someone who is too weak to quit whatever addiction. View yourself as a repentant questing knight who has his honor as the most important thing in his world. And everything is worse than not living up to your word of honor. Adapting that mindset and taking everything a bit more seriously, even if you have a whole world and um, your social setting might only be concerned with pleasure for the moment, fine, that's it. It's also about, it's ultimately about your goals. If you really want something, don't let crab in a bucket mentality get in your way. If you want to have a really heroic physique, if you want to get rid of your addictions, view it as a heroic quest instead of just going to the gym and eating well. You need to view it in a more epic sense. So anyway, I hope that will aid you a bit. I understand it wasn't really all too motivating perhaps, especially for the guys who have tried to quit for a long time, but think of it always that the sooner you do it, the easier it gets. If you try to go off porn or if you try to go off cigarettes or something, the sooner you do it, the sooner you will have healed your soul and body and the sooner you can go back to feeling good. Uh, so if you think, oh, maybe I should do it one last time, uh, just don't. It will only delay the um, final goal. So that being said, 
if you watched this far give the video a thumbs up go on to my page legigloria.com order my book and some new fine garments as well of course if they strike your fancy they are supposed to fit an athletic physique so um yeah that is what is up anyway thank you for watching xxo boom